Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, um, Grey Visitations here. So today I am just outside of Rakhil in County Limerick. And we're here today at a very old graveyard with some interesting crypts, mausoleums and a couple of headstones here as well. So let's go and have a look around and explore. Right guys, so let's go and explore this very, very interesting old graveyard. Um, it looks like we have a crypt here guys so we will of course have a look at that but first I'll just read this one here and it's erected in the memory of James Shelton who departed this life February the 6th 1784 age 66 years old but look at this crypt wow and it's open guys so we'll have a, a, a look inside there and see what we can see in here. Wow, look at that guys. There's a skull and bones in there. Remains, you can even see teeth. Look at that. Oh wow. There's two skulls there. Look at the skulls, guys, and the teeth. Oh, wow. I've never seen the teeth like that in remains. Look at that. He's looking straight out. Just there, it seems to be alive. Inside. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Can you just get one of my torches? See one of my torches? Just there, guys, we can see oh. more skulls and bones and stuff. Look at that. God help them. Sad to see that they're left like that. I'll just try and show you there, guys, if I can. Just there, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about six. Wow. There's more teeth over that side, guys. Look at the jaw bones. I think I see one, two, three, four, maybe. There's another one there beside that can. And then just here. Look at that. One looking straight at us. That is. I've never seen the actual full jaw bone and teeth. Wow. That's crazy. It's a huge crypt in there. Wow. It's amazing, guys. What a find. What a find. Something you actually don't come across every day. Um, sad to see. But that is the old crypt here in the graveyard, guys. So let's keep going and... Uh, see they have restored a lot of this place. You see the paths put down. Now there is a lot of work done here as well. Yeah, they have a lovely pathway met here. Um, somebody's blown the horn. Don't know if they know me or not. Wow, that looks like a... It's a mausoleum, guys, and it looks like a castle. But it has been restored, like the top. Yes. It has been restored to maybe, you know, keep the feature in it. And it's called the McCarthy Mausoleum. And I'm sure there's probably something online on it about this. There's a plaque over the door and it says here Talk with several me. other members of the family or the remains were deposited the remains of Dan McCarthy who died it looks like 1809 age 50 Elizabeth died in 1822 age 60 Eugene Six, Six son. son, age 27. David, another son, 24, or age 28. And there's a couple of other names there as well. Look at that door. But so look at the door, one. yeah. And it's try and stand out of the... It? It's a brand new keyhole yeah. and lock on that. That's amazing, look at that. I'd love to see what's in there. That would be cool, wouldn't it? It would be cool to see in there, I tell you that. 
Um, the old keyhole is there, guys. Look at that. Are the old, are the new lock on it there? A barrel lock on it, and it's a lovely old mausoleum. The McCarthy family. And the church is in the background there. It's a beautiful old church. And I don't see if we can. Oh, there's a hole over here, guys. Is it a hole? It's a huge hole here, the side of the mausoleum. So you know we'll definitely have a look in here. So let's look in here, guys, and see what we can see in here. I'll try and position this. Wow! Look at that. That looks like... Um, Just there, guys. Look at that—a coffin, and it has a oh. a cloth over it with a cross, and it looks new. That cloth. So I presume when they were doing up the old mausoleum here, they actually put that on top of it there. Now you can kind of see the side of it. It is a coffin, but um, I'm just trying to get my gimbal placed there in a quick position. Look at that, and there's only one coffin in there. There's only one in there, guys, but it's a huge mausoleum. All for one person. But where's the rest of the... I'm wondering, the family members. The rest of the family members, I'm just wondering. They could be in around here and we can't see. We can't see, maybe, but it's it's, it's a big open space in there. But that is definitely... um. That is definitely a coffin there with that drape over it with the cross. Um, we have a a nice one here with the railing around it. That looks like a vent. See the thing there? <gasps> there's a bone. Oh, there's a bone on top of this one, guys. I was just looking at the vent. It's like a chute or something. Look at that bone. I wonder was that... Um, was that taken from the grave and just left there? Sometimes they leave bones there, you know, from the remains. They don't like to. That is huge. That bone. It's definitely. A, it's a leg bone. I think so. I wouldn't touch that though. Would you? No, 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 no. I would never. Right here. On this side. So I'll take back out the zoom here. John O'Connor. So here we look at this guys, erected by P. O'Donnell, O'Donnell yeah. in memory of his father, John O'Donnell. Who died on the 26th of May 1836? 18, 18, look at the rail, it's fabulous. There's that bone again, look at that. It does That's look doesn't it? It does look human, doesn't it? There's angels here, look. I'll go around and just show you the other side of it there again. So we have another beautiful headstone here. Beautiful. Angel cherubs on it. Designs, look. Stone cut. Beautiful. Um, and it's erected by Patrick. And James. And James Riley in memory of their brother, Lawrence, Lawrence Riley. Riley, who departed this life November the 11th, wow. 1767, aged 25 years old. And their mother, Honora. Alias Irwin. Alias Irwin. Yeah. She departed this life 1769, aged 55. Honora, and actually, I've heard of that name a few times. There's actually my grandfather's grave in County Galway. Uh, one of the inscriptions on his grave is Honora. I think it was his sister. She died two years after her son. So there is an Honora in our family son died in 67 and she died in 69 it's two years later she could have been broken hearted guys who knows so um we'll keep going and what a place it is so far the mccarthy mausoleum with that coffin inside wow um there's one over here and it looks like a a St. Patrick, is it? Oh, it has to be. Wow, look at that, guys. 
You see the serpent? The snake is going up along the staff. With shamrocks. And the shamrocks, look at that. And it says actually, look, St. Patrick, wow. St. Patrick on it, yeah. We have the shamrocks, St. Patrick. We have the staff and the snake going up along it. We have uh, angels on the other side and the sun. Look at that, St. Patrick. Amazing. And we'll read the other side of it. Um, it was erected by Dennis Hurley. Hurley, in memory of his beloved wife Mary Hurley, alias Shan Shanlon, who departed this life the 21st of October 1821, aged 37 years old. Wow. May her soul rest in peace. Lovely. Amen. Descriptions or inscriptions. Wow, we've even birds. Look but at that. Birds on this. And that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Limerick is full of history and oh. beautiful headstones. I just love Limerick. That reminds me of those Ogham stones. Do you know the early writing used to be done on the sides of them? Yeah. It looks like something from an old monastery or something. Stone there. And look at the size of the writing on these. Yeah. Edmund Dore died on the 15th of January, 1864, aged 60 years old. And the writing is huge on that. Edmund Dore. Wow. Oh, that's that bold, bold kind of style writing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let's see oh, this have one. Look this first, look. Oh, look at that, yeah. He's holding a, what you call it? A, a side. I call them our sight. We have the, With the blade pieces on it. of silver, 20 pieces of silver. The sun and the moon. Look at that, with the wings, the angel. And here he's holding something different, oh, the scales. And he has two keys in his hand, look. Oh. I've never seen that before. Two no. keys, and we have that blade there, the sight. Like you'd see, the Grim Reaper would have two keys. We have a heart in the middle here. Um, we have the angel here playing a bugle or trumpet, maybe. Um, and the scales, the scales of life, I think, is it? Look at that writing, though. The writing on it. Wow. The big bold writing on that. William Barry erected this to ken of was it affection, affection in memory of his beloved wife, wife Alice Barry alias Reard, Reardon who departed this life July the 24th 1838 aged 36 years old look at that wow that's beautiful there's a branch there, guys, have to watch. Um, but that is beautiful. Look at that headstone. More amazing stone cutter's work. Oh, stone it? masons. Stone. And it's a pity there's no name on it. And the headstones are huge. Like, they are, aren't Look they? at the size of those headstones. And this is directed by Michael Reardon, I'd say, as well. Uh, Kuliski in memory of his son Michael and he died in 1836 aged 40 years old and the 4 looks like it's turned the other way around and that for the 40 and uh, another design on that beautiful one and iron on this one here look at that with that beautiful mausoleum in the background. Beautiful design on that. Um, in memory of, it's hard to read that there. 
looks like oh, I thought it was Kennedy. Kennedy. I don't see any date or anything on it. Oh. No. The angels there. But we have the angels here again. Look at that. Either side. Beautiful stonework. So we have another um, beautiful mausoleum here, guys, as well. And uh, they have been restored. And this is the Moncton, Moncton Vault, it's called. Look at that for architecture there again and that. And we see the old door of it here and the ring, the iron ring on it. It's a stone door and it has been sealed there to sides like it's, it's been restored. And it says beneath this tomb repose the mortal remains of M. It's yeah. kind of hard to read. I'll try and go up a bit closer if I can. Um, I can see only child. Moncton. M. Moncton, late of Limerick, only child of the Reverend John uh, of Christ Church, Liverpool. It says on it there. Look at that. Fondly beloved by her widowed parent, endeared to an affectionate husband, and dearly mourned by her young family. Thus, early. early bereaved of the best and tenderest of mothers. Isn't that a beautiful inscription yeah. on it? How it details the, how people, their feelings. Look at the urn on top. At the time, yeah, there's a big urn on top there and it looks like it's, they're actually been, they're new or they've just been sandblasted or restored in some way but that's the Moncton vault there so just to say that this is a work in progress it, this it's a work it's a work in progress the whole it graveyard yeah completely all this area here was completely forgotten it was forgotten so it was it was um found again basically and clear all that ground that you see in the distance from the mausoleum back this from, was completely it was forgotten. overgrown and everything so They've done a fine job here. And they are hoping to get more money in to kind of fix more monuments and I suppose mausoleums. And, and apparently the church there, um, a local was telling me that that church um, was turned and bought and turned into this graves the other side, but we can't get over there. It's private property. But that church was bought by a company and the company actually went out of business only last Monday after 32 years. So... Sad times. Oh, sad times. Yeah. And hopefully they'll turn around that building and make it into, you know, something for the community again. But um, that's the, the Moncton vault. And you can see the stone roof on it there. A huge vault. So we'll keep the snowdrops here for the, the spring. Um, this is for the memory of Mary Houlihan Burke, who departed this life 1836, age 38. Um, there's a grave here somewhere, guys, and I'm not sure where it is, but a, a young man who died in a duel in his 20s. And there's also another grave somewhere here of a young girl that died from cholera as well. We can't seem to find no, well, we weren't where sure it is. We name. weren't sure. Of he the was killed by his friend over religion. Oh, he was killed by his friend over religion, the apparently. Had over. <gasps> Look at the hole there. Wow, guys, there's it's a huge like a crypt. Is it? Oh, I thought it was a tunnel. It's a crypt. <gasps> oh, wow. Another crypt, guys. Look at this. This is huge, this crypt. There's bones all in there. Look at the size of that. Wow, look at that guys again, and you can see, you can see the roof there where I'm looking in of it. Oh, that's the door, it has fallen forward. The door, the stone door has fallen in, yeah. There's a piece of a skull there. A piece of a skull there to your left. More bones there guys, look at all that. Wow. A mixture of 
God, he's really... It's sad. May the rest to, in peace. To say as well that this is under development and restoration. It's under restoration. Everything is going to be fixed up here and... Uh, and it costs so much It's money. just about getting, um, you know, the funds, I suppose, to yeah. to get this work done. But that, well, we that uh, crypt goes all the way back underneath. Yeah. You can see the roof for there. So we'll go back over, guys. So we show the architect. Um, there's another interesting monument down here. We'll have a look at it. And um, the story of a... There's another one here as well, guys. Look at this. And it has a tabletop tomb. Another crypt. And there's a hole in this one as well. And uh, it looks like there's a shelf on this one. A wooden shelf. Look at that. Oh, so there probably was a coffin there. Or oh, with more bones. With more skulls down there. Um, it's hard to get a look in. We have timber. Oh, there's a coffin down there, guys. Look. Oh, there is. It looks like it's... Um, that's the lid of a coffin yeah. there, guys. Look at that. See the two skulls bottom right? Two skulls. We have that timber beam that's going across as well. Yeah. But, um. That's nice too. You know, people often say about these crypts and remains and stuff like that. It's it's all part of, of learning, I think, you know. Learning about death and what's involved. And all these graves here are respected. Oh, here, guys, we have something here. 1852, Alice Cox, age just nine. Yeah, it could be. This could be it, guys. Alice Cox, age nine years old. And ten months. And ten months. Almost age ten. So we believe, from speaking to somebody here, that. Um, oh, suffer. Has it suffer, little children? Oh, that's the verse. That's the verse. So this is Alice Cox, age yeah. nine years and ten months. And uh, I think this could be the grave here, guys, of little Alice who died from cholera. We had three rounds of cholera here, pre-famine, during the famine, and then after the famine as well. Now I'm trying to remember the name, but just straight ahead you see a big monument there. And um, the story goes that the monument here was erected it's an architect's grave he was an architect and he was a uh, whoa there's a big um oh that's another crypt there's another crypt yeah. here with a kind of a hole in it but i don't think we'll see anything no, in that <laughs> so anyway guys get back to uh, this and so the grave here is a uh, the grave of an architect and he was assigned by a wealthy man in a nearby village and i can't remember the name of the village she's the person told me but um this is his grave here the architect so this is going to be restored as well and uh, they're going to add on to it erected in memory of john neville john neville so john here was and his wife is here as well an architect i think and their son john neville yeah so john was an architect and he was asked to design a village and uh Apparently, he drank a lot and he got very drunk and was drunk a lot and he was actually fired by the man, age 20. Eliza Neville, 1837, age 26. So he was fired by the man That's the that uh, asked him to build this village. And I think it was, it was the man's secretary actually fired him. Um, she, they had enough he was drinking a lot or whatever but um, I don't know did the village I'm presuming the village it was, was finished by some other architect it was finished by someone else but um, I'd imagine if that man continued to design that village it would be a funny looking village yeah look at the crest on the was, mausoleum so here's the back of the McCarthy mausoleum here and there's a crest on it here looks like it was added onto it here it's new Mausoleum of the McCarthy's. 
Beautiful crest. And there's a deer or a stag on it there. 1842. And it looks like up the very top there, um, you might be able to see it. I don't know, is that a fox? It's a hand holding a fox. A hand holding a fox. 1842. And I'll zoom in a bit to show you up the top. It looks like a fox and a hand holding it there. Uh, and just underneath then you have the stag with the antlers on it. Isn't that lovely? So guys, I think that'll do it for today. Here in this beautiful graveyard here and what a find all these historical mausoleums and crypts and um, headstones here. So if you like the video, um, please subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, um, give the video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell, it lets you know when I upload another video on my channel. So for me here, Grave Visitations, until the next time on the next adventure, take care, God bless, and I'll see you all very, very soon.